Hey guys, Landed Rich, call center crew, uh, hanging out here, Northern Utah, Focus Services, BPO. Uh, bringing you Metric Monday today, we're gonna talk about average handle time. Uh, let me go over here to the whiteboard. So, talking about average handle time, um, we learned a little bit about this, uh, we talked a little bit about it when we uh, were talking about our efficiencies, right? Of the 7.5 hours or, or whatever it is that uh, you require your agents to be on the phones working, now this is one of the factors that comes into you know that working time on the phones. So average handle time it, it really depends on you know the industry, the vertical, or maybe even just the manager, right? On how you or how an, how a center looks at average handle time. Typically, it is from you know that that starting point of a call from the second the agent uh, initiates contact with the customer, uh, all the way through uh, to the time that the agent. Uh, disconnects right so the from the time that uh, they hang up right so you got hang up here uh, this is the, the start of the contact and so really it's it's that entire time um, from start to finish now there will be some hold times in here right so that's the thing is is average handle time does take into account hold so uh, let's say your total average handle time is eight minutes uh, that very well mean that very well uh, may mean that uh, you know you've got two minutes of uh, of hold time and that calculates into uh, this eight minutes right so you're obviously your talk time that comes to that which we'll dive into again uh, on another metric Monday uh, but it's this whole thing that encompasses from the start of the contact until the 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 agent uh, disconnects right typically what we see after is what we consider after call work that comes after the call um, but that average handle time you know, for a number of reasons, and again, going back to the campaign, right? If you're customer service or tech support, typically uh, th th those average handle times can be a little bit longer, uh, especially where, you know, customer first and always, um, well, in some cases, some people's motto, uh, customer first and always, uh, you know, you want the customer to be happy. Uh, tech support, you, you know, first call resolution, I don't care, you know, some people's, uh, Methodology is hey, I don't care how long they're on the phone as long as it's first call resolution if it takes you two hours to solve an issue first of all um, There may be there, there may be a bigger reason that to or a, a bigger thing to look at of why it's taken two hours or two hours to resolve an issue um, But they want the customer to have their issue resolved first call so uh, depending on the industry, right? If it's sales, uh, typically it's gonna have a pretty hard cutoff, right? Um, especially outbound if you're outbound calling you know, they're gonna have a pretty pretty tight average handle time because uh, they want you to be efficient in dialing, right? You want to have a certain number of calls per hour uh, in that in that hour or in that interval, and also the customer. Honestly, you know, if you try to try, try to rebuttal one, two, three, four times, drag out the call, the customer's only getting to get more and more irate, um, you know, on sales. So again, average handle time, uh, it, it, it's in, it's going to be specific to your industry yeah your goal is going to be dependent on the industry and also kind of the the long-term and big-picture goals of the organization that you're working in right if it's more customer oriented you may see a little bit longer average handle time where they're willing to spend a little bit more money on uh, on agents talking working time uh, things like that to make the customer happy whereas other industries sales you may see shorter uh, shorter average handle times so just to just to clarify here average handle time is a lag metric right so lag metric meaning that I could scream my head off until I'm blue in the face for my agents to lower or to raise their average handle time and guess what uh, I it's not gonna happen right Average handle time has a bunch of other little metrics that feed into it um, and other methods that feed into it that will help you decrease or increase that average handle time. So again, I don't wanna to go too deep into it. Um, I'm gonna be bringing you that uh, more into it, but average handle time is a lag metric. It is not a lead metric. So if you wanna learn how to uh, effective, effectively drive your average handle time either up or down, stay tuned, uh, callcentercrew.com, look us up on YouTube. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.